Hello guys, this is your brother Kofi coming today. Um I just wanted to make this video um because uh I think you guys saw my last video with uh, Louis Farrakhan and um I just also wanted to apologize um about it because um I don't mean no intent to slander anybody in any type of way but um yeah, I did not mean it to intend to slander any type of way. By that means, Fluus Farrakhan was talking more about um, the violence that's going on in this world as opposed to taking the mark of the beast. But I'm going to, he's still a false prophet, and I'm going to be making more videos about him. But that's neither here nor there. The main video I wanted to talk, the main reason I wanted to talk about this video. Is because of um, I was watching this one brother on YouTube, and he was talking about this event called Claw. Pretty much, uh, the whole purpose of the event Claw is uh, it's a fetish event for uh, homosexuals, and um, you see what's going on with this LGBTQ whatever uh, nonsense debauchery and you see what's going on with the transgender uh, uh, agenda making uh, men think that they're women women thinking that they're men men thinking that they're little girls women think they're little boys and all this 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 utter nonsense this this asinine nonsense <clears throat> and people you know buying into this but this claw event is one of the most abominable, disgusting events that's happening in the United States. Apart from other stuff that I'm going to talk about. But one of these, this organization, uh, supposedly, it, it's a fetish that allows men to uh, wear these, to do BDSM, bondage, all this, I can't really talk about it. Lord, please forgive me. But they just do this, all these um, sexually suggestive things um, in these hotels that mess with young children. And it's, it's not right. And um, I just wanted to make this video just to talk about this because children of God, we need to we need to go out there and preach the gospel by any means necessary. You know, and uh, this brother, he was talking about how he was reaching out to these 500 pastors to go and preach um, the gospel to these people and to preach against this heinous act. And when he reached out to them, all 500 of these pastors did not respond. They didn't even give two thoughts about this, two thoughts about responding to him. At least they could have responded to them like, hey, I can't do this. But they didn't even respond. And you just see how how close you are to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And um, how crazy you know, and uh, evil this world is getting more and more. You know, you have the rap music videos to glorify money, sex, and violence. Um, people trying to live the gangster lifestyle. That's pretty much just in vain. People chasing after money and all this other nonsense that makes no difference. At the end of the day, it's all going to burn up in a heap of ash. And um, God, he's going to destroy this world and he's going to uh, establish a new Jerusalem. And you see that we're almost coming to the, the near the Great Tribulation um, during the time of Jacob. Where we're going to go through. The first three and a half years that there's going to be so much mass destruction, so much chaos. And then in the last year, that's when um, it's going to get much worse. And that then um, it's going to be the coming of the Lord, Jesus Christ, towards the end of the Great Tribulation. And it's only just a matter of time before he comes. So people, you got to repent. We and Christians, you got to go out and preach the gospel. You got to go out and preach the gospel right now. 
because time is of the essence. God is not playing around. He is not playing around. You see what the devil is trying to do. The devil is trying to do whatever he can to get people to go to hell. And some people think God doesn't get stressed out. Of course he gets stressed out. God gets stressed out because he has to take billions upon billions of people to hell. And he doesn't want to do that. And God says he's angry with the wicked every day. So just how much, how much stress he feels. He gets angry. Anger is a stressor, you know. He, has, he gets angry with the wicked every day. And people just don't understand because they just want to sin. And so I just wanted to make this video today, you know, and um, because, you know, I know we got to strive to be perfect, you know. I'm not there yet, but I got I I got to watch myself how I do stuff because the Lord is not playing around. God said you must test every spirit. You must check yourself. Mm -hmm. You must check yourself. 2 Corinthians 13 verse 5. It says you must examine yourself to see if you're in the faith. I have to examine myself. You have to examine yourself. Everybody has to examine themselves to see, in the, to see if they're in the faith. Because everybody, a lot of people, can, you know, consider themselves Christians. But are they really Christians? No, they're not. It's only a cultural thing. The only thing they only just throw around the word Christian because they felt as if they were raised, but they don't know the meaning of what a true Christian is. A true Christian is someone who's born again. Born of the water and of the spirit. They're not raised because, oh, my dad was a pastor. Oh, um, my parents raised, I was raised Catholic or Orthodox Christian. It's not that. <laughs> That's just tradition. It's just traditional religion. I mean, Christianity is a relationship with God. It's obeying the word of God. Staying obedient. To God's war, staying obedient to Jesus Christ, following and keeping his commandments. Jesus says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Now, how many people do? Not a lot of people keep his commandments. So, I man, I just wanted to make this video. And, um, yeah, please, guys, just stay vigilant. All right. Bye-bye.